as uh, you show us how you are trying to stay involved in sports at home as we're all at home. Ted Ligeti's home is Park City, Utah. He joins us from there, four-time Olympian, two-time Olympic gold medal skier. Uh, you got those soccer moves in you, Ted? I do not have those soccer moves. My wife played soccer in college, so maybe she has some of those moves, but I definitely do not. <laughs> hey, I, I want to get to the important stuff first, so we make sure that we maximize the time here. Uh, it's not a Google Doc, but it's Goggles for Docs. Can you explain yeah. this initiative that you are helping with something that became part of your professional image and personality a little bit, helping the frontline workers in this pandemic right now? Yeah, so in this pandemic, there's a huge shortage of PPE, especially on the eyewear side of things, eyewear protection. And it just so happens that ski and mountain bike and motocross goggles work as a good eyewear protection for those frontline workers. So in the sport of skiing, we have goggles. I ended up sending all my goggles from years past. Um, I actually have my own company, Shred. We make goggles uh, and eyewear and protective gear for, right. for skiing, snowboarding and mountain biking. So we've sent a bunch of stuff, tried to rally our athletes around sending our uh, old goggles from years past and, and current goggles. So it's, uh, it's been a group effort. And so far, I think there's been 35 plus thousand goggles sent in. And you can go on to Google's, gogglesfordocs.com and see where you can send your goggles to. It shows you how to clean them. Um, and just what's the, what's the need out there? I mean, some places you could drop off. There's like in parks of Utah, the U.S. Ski Team Gym is a place where you can drop off your goggles. And a lot of local areas have places where you can drop them off. So check out gogglesfordocs.com and that'll get you some info on where you can send your old, old goggles. So it's a really unique way for the ski community and the snow sports community to, to give back and, and help in this pandemic. And it is, and a lot of folks do have ski equipment that they may no longer use or they may have upgraded or the yeah. kids outgrew uh, or some older folks uh, have upgraded their equipment. So it's a great opportunity yeah. to do that. What, what has it been like for you to see how this has really gone and grown from just an idea and a hashtag to this really big initiative now? Oh, yeah, it's really taken off. Um, you know, I, I heard about it from really the get-go and it's uh it's cool to be able to help out and uh spread the word and send some goggles as well so um it's great that there's a way for us to help you know it's springtime so people are trying to do spring cleaning and things like that and and trying to you know <laughs> clean out their garages and stuff so it's a great thing that you can go through and you know a lot of people i know have you know 10 year old goggles that you'd never use so this is a great way to uh right. to help both the frontline workers, but also help, you know, cleaning out your garage or whatnot too. So it helps on multiple fronts and it's just great as a ski community, we can rally around this and, and help. There's been plenty of that. We're gonna have the most organized society we've ever had at the end of this. <laughs> uh, to you, four times in the Olympics, I mentioned uh, the first American to win two Alpine golds. So you scale back just to giant slalom last time around. What are your thoughts as we pretty quickly here start to enter the window where there's a 2022 sitting out there in the Beijing Olympics. Yeah, entering this year, I was just kind of taking it, playing it by ear. And I, the way my body's been feeling, I feel like I'm starting to progress again to the point where I feel I can start winning races and feeling healthy and everything's going well there. So, you know, now I'm looking to do two final years and, and finish it off at the Olympics. So that's the goal right now. Um, and just doing giant slalom. So with I have a two and a half year old, almost three year old, and we have twins on the way. So the family life is about to get exponentially more hectic and scaling back to just doing one event is good on the body, but also it's a good rhythm being able to be, you know, in the winter time, home for a week, over in Europe for a week and back and forth. It's, it's manageable. So, um, you know, it's, it's been fun and it'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Sounds like a great picture, about a five-year-old, a couple of twins, and uh, a medal around your neck to wrap up in Beijing. Uh, hey, thanks for what That'd you're doing cool. with Goggles for Docs. We'll keep an eye on that. And thanks for joining us from Park City. Yeah, thank you very much. Stay safe out there. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.